Hey guys, Pastor Joel with some bonus material around the concept of celebration. Last week we talked about part two of our series going up and we talked about celebration, the priority of it, the place of it in scripture, God's purpose for it. And so I came up with an acrostic called party. And so I'm gonna unpack it really quick on my way to the airport, excited to celebrate uh, getting to go to Disney World. But here we go, party. P stands for purpose. You gotta know the purpose of why you're celebrating. Once you've locked in on the purpose, it should be easy to celebrate. The A stands for attitude. You gotta have the right attitude. It's 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 a it's about your spirit, it's about your mindset. Remember, we, we have a day given to us by God. That is a worth celebrating. The R stands for relationships. You gotta have the right people. And if you're with the right people, you can celebrate. Celebration is done best in community, so remember relationships. The T stands for time. Now, sometimes you might think it's gotta be a certain time or a time of year, or you gotta have a lot of time. Remember the example I gave about Kim and I just brushing our teeth and dancing? Just take time to celebrate. And the Y in party stands for youth. If you don't know what celebration looks like, find a five-year-old, a seven-year-old, a 10-year-old, and watch the joy they have in life. Watch the way they celebrate little things like a piece of gum or, or something small. Have a youthful spirit and celebrate. This week, I'm praying for you to party and celebrate because it will help your health, your mental health, your emotional health, your spiritual health. So let's be a party people.